Hey guys, what is up? Reese here, and I've got a brand new sneaker ready to show you. What we're looking at today is the Under Armour Clutch Fit Drive. This is the Black, Royal, and Taxi Stephen Curry PE colorway. These released on November 1st with a retail price of $125. This is one of three Stephen Curry PEs that have released to the public. There was a white home pair, the black away pair, and then a taxi yellow alternate pair. And it's kind of interesting because actually the shoe that Stephen Curry wears on court is the Under Armour Clutch Fit Drive Highlight, which is the exact same shoe, it's just got a slightly higher cut at the back. Like when I say the exact same shoe, I'm talking like materials are all the same down here. Um, you got the you still got the Under Armour logo over here on the side, same cushioning setup, same everything. It's just a little bit higher. Um, but he does even down to like if you look at Stephen Curry's Instagram, he has a pair of those Clutch Fit Drive highlights in this exact same colorway. So I'm not sure why they chose to release the PEs in the lower cut. Lower cut, it's still a very high cut. But I'm totally okay with that. I like how it looks. That's just something to note. The highlights have been weird. We've seen a couple like previews of different pairs, but so far the only ones that have come out are the three Veterans Day pairs. There was a green camo, a black and blue camo, and then like a desert camo. Those are all available right over at East Bay, um, at least the last time I checked. So if you're interested in that higher cut, just know that right now those are your options. But getting back to this shoe itself, this is my very first pair of Under Armour shoes, and I'm extremely impressed with them. This shoe is a great combination of good looks, you know, good aesthetics with some great performance benefits. When you combine those for the price point of 125, it's really hard to go wrong. You know, I started hearing a lot about the Clutch Fit Drive, you know, just from different performance reviews I was seeing and people just talking about them. And so I kind of knew that I was going to pick up a pair at some point. They were just interesting enough that I had to try them out. But I was waiting, you know, there was no colorway that I'd seen that I was totally sold on until I saw this black Stephen Curry pair. And they're just something so sleek and menacing about the black and then the hits of blue and yellow just add a really vibrant touch that I think it's a great looking shoe. With all that said, let's dive right into a close-up view and I'll go over the materials, colors, and what we have going on here. Here we go with our close-up view of the Under Armour Clutch Fit Drive in the Stephen Curry Away colorway. The entire upper is a synthetic material. You've actually got two layers. There's the base layer and then you've got the Clutch Fit overlay. Real quick, we'll zoom in. The little hourglass shapes, that's all of the clutch fit overlay and then everything you see in between them, that's actually just your kind of like your base underlay. And as you can see, all, uh, both the clutch fit and the base are black, but then there's kind of a slight pattern there. You can get a good look at it applied to the under underlay, which I think is always cool. You know, you've got a single color, but you can kind of break it up with little textures and patterns. Um, so that's cool to see. And the basic premise of clutch fit is that you know, these hourglass shapes are designed to help provide a second skin feeling is kind of how Under Armour builds it. And the basic premise is, you know, whenever you flex in one direction, these shapes can kind of expand. You know, the idea is that eventually they would expand where these sides are fully straight and you'd have kind of like a rectangle shape. Obviously, you're not really going to ever reach that while wearing a shoe. But the point is that, you know, if you're applying pressure, like say right here, instead of just fighting back, the shoe will actually work with you a little bit and give so you can have kind of that more natural range of motion. One thing a lot of people have noted about this shoe is that the ventilation is not great because that underlay is a synthetic and so it's not very breathable. A lot of the Under Armour like running shoes and training shoes, the future clutch fit, clutch fit will actually have mesh underneath the clutch fit overlay. I'm assuming they went with the synthetic for more of a durable um, material for basketball shoes, but it is a little disappointing about the ventilation. That's kind of the one major negative people have, and that's just something to note if that's something um, extremely important to you. You can see the clutch fit um, shapes get kind of like smaller up here around the toe box and then get bigger um, back here. They just kind of like, they designed it to work, you know, well for whatever part of the foot um, it's around. So it's, you know, it's balanced where it needs to be. So I'm excited to just get some more experience with this clutch for material. You have the yellow Under Armour logo right there at the top of the toe box. Mesh tongue, that's kind of where your only breathability will be on this shoe. Up here at the top of the tongue, you've got uh, Stephen Curry's 30 logo. The laces are black with little yellow dotted lines, which I think is a cool touch. Those look good without being anything too crazy. Back here on the sides, you have the Under Armour logo, both the outside and the inside of the shoe. 
And then the last piece of the upper is this uh, little heel, heel counter heel cup in a matte plasticky material with the Under Armour logo right there. The lining is royal blue. And you're not going to be able to see it real well, but the insole sock liner is black and features uh, Stephen Curry's 30 logo. And the sock liner actually also features um, micro G foam, which is the main cushioning for the shoe, but so there's a little bit extra in the sock liner just for a little bit of extra cushioning. Speaking of micro G, that is the um, cushioning of the shoe feature. You got your micro G right there. Runs all the way along the shoe, so it's full length micro G. I've heard really good things about uh, this cushioning setup. A lot of people really like what Under Armour is doing. I haven't had a chance to try them long enough to really have an opinion, but so far I have no complaints. So I'm excited to see how that goes the more I wear them. And then down here in the lower part of the midsole, you've got this cool blue and yellow pattern. The white outsole wraps up around the toe box. Flipping now to the outsole, you've got this blue line running throughout, and then you've got the Under Armour logo in yellow, but everything else is white. You've got traditional herringbone traction, but as you can see, it's multi-directional. Here it's going from left to right. Here it's going from front to back. And this will just help um, in terms of no matter what movements you're making, whether you're just going forward or backward, or if you're cutting, doing anything lateral, this traction should help with that. Um, so all in all, like I said, I'm really just impressed with the build quality and everything that Under Armour did. You know, sometimes shoes with full synthetic uppers, um, depending on what type of synthetic the company is using, can be a little stiff. You know, I think of like the D-Rose 4.5, but Under Armour has worked really hard to create this clutch fit that works as a second skin, and from what I can tell, it's going to do its job well. I'm excited to start wearing these more. Um, thanks for watching this, guys. Be sure to like and leave a comment. Let me know what you think of this shoe. Let me know what you think of this colorway, and have a great day.